Hello friend, welcome back to Autoresource YouTube channel. In this video we will talk about the finishing the monitors on that IM system which is for emissions. So that's a 2004 Ford Econo line which we recently purchased. We bought them in the same time. And that one had a dead battery after replacing the battery it took approximately less than a week all the monitors were finished and this vehicle already passed the smog this ford was the opposite this one was in green from beginning when we purchased it the problem is the battery was also weak because both of them were sitting for a long time and one day it basically drained to the nothing, the computer reset and after it was fully charged, computer started learning again all the monitors. So let's go and see where they are right now. And I am on purpose explaining all the details of this story because all these details matters. So here is that small scanner on this vehicle the port OBD port it's right here so it will go this way it's hooked that it will still not do anything because you first need to put the ignition on only after that I will be able to connect to the vehicle and see that they are still not finished look at it I'm in the yellow and all the monitors, after driving it for two weeks, are finished except the EVAP. You see that little EVA flashing and that's why it's still yellow and it's not green which is on the left. So now comes the question, why this one did it really quickly and was ready for smoke in one week and this one I'm driving in the same manner between the shop and the house why this one the EVAP is still not finished and of course there could be many reasons these vehicles were built only one year from each other but this is for example 5.4 liter V8 2 valve this one has a three valve so the computer already could be programmed differently but one of the other reasons which i want to bring up for you is that the fuel tank which is almost empty on this one was never full and believe it or not that could be a reason why that truck still after two weeks of driving doesn't finish the evap that van, which that happened in one week, was basically purchased with almost full tank. And that I want to bring up to your attention because it's really important. So let's go and put some gas in the truck. Ideally it will be full or if you really read about these emissions, the tank should be at least three quarts from full. So I filled up the truck yesterday, last night on the way home, like 8 p.m. I filled it up, that we have more than some quarter remaining. This is the actually, right here you can see, it's a three quarts of the gas, it was there. I didn't go on any special procedure, like five minutes idling the driving, in the stop and go traffic. I just drove this morning back to the shop which is basically started up there is two miles stop and go and then it's a highway for a nine miles and then I came here and look at that believe it or not that actually immediately changed everything the gas tank right I want to stress it out enough for everybody it was the volume of the gas in the tank making sure obviously that you don't have any check engine light because your gas cap will be leaking 
but if the gas cap is leaking you will have a code for it for that evap so that was in our case our case that this baby needed to get in the green it is in the green and all it needed more gas in the tank and that was the difference between that one and this one we bought it there was only less than half and that's why I had a trouble to get it in this area and the green and everything is finished uh, in comparison with that van that happened again in like few days because the tank was full so even I lost the battery I replaced that two days later that baby was perfectly completely done and this one was just begging for more fuel so I'm very happy and I'm sure a lot of people will find this information very helpful dealing with their evap monitor so i hope you will find this video helpful and make sure you are subscribed i have way more automotive videos coming your way soon thanks for watching and have a great day my friend